Well, welcome to the live stream. I'm hoping. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm live. I need to find the. Oh, there it is. Sure. Copy text. It's when people want to talk. You never know. Right, I've got nobody in yet. That's fine. Let's connect some power up. Make sure the phone doesn't die, considering it dies all the time, this iPhone. I've got one follower. Hello. Right. Go to open Buzz Light, yeah. Put some gloves on. Don't want to scratch it, I've got muck all over my hands. Hey. Right, let's have a look at this. There's my tweezers. Yep. This cellar tape's already up. So I need a bit of heat on the um, cellar tape to release the glue. So I have this uh, wonderful hot air station. If it'll focus in. So just use that for a little bit of warmth. Turn it down a bit because at the moment it's set for soldering, which is about 300 knot degrees. I actually want about 200 degrees. Get some cellar tape first. Do, do, do. Just hot enough to remove all the cellar tape without even sticky residue behind. Without taking all that um, print off the box as well. Don't know who's following me, whoever it is. There's two people now. We're here. Most I've ever had. <laughs> right. Right, this Buzz Lightyear was bought for a Christmas present for someone, but they're not getting it. And I don't want to keep it forever and get it back in the cradle. With the batteries in it, because they'll end up dying. The batteries will end up crude on the way. There's another piece there, and another piece there. Side a little bit more. So I want to clean the glass up, well, the plastic face up. It's got loads of dust all over it. And that'll scratch it if I leave it on there and get stuck to it. And as I say, I don't want the batteries left in there because they'll end up going funny. Oh, no. oh. So 
a bit on there. We've got some on the bottom as well. This is a special edition one, so it's not like the normal one. I'll show you the normal one in a second. Let's all the side tape off. Maybe this side should open up. Somehow. And then it should. Oh, there's more cellar tape. Wow. So that's the original buzz light, yeah, here. And you can see this one's all green and different colours because it's a limited edition one. Yeah, I'm going to have to heat that up as well. If you don't heat the solid tape up, you'll end up ripping the paper. <clears throat> go. Let's have a look. It should be it open. My apologies for how close it is at the moment. I've only got one camera position. Right, I've only got one hand. that open. Buds, gotta buy a fresh pack. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, I've lost the viewer, that's a shame. alcohol not isopropanol which is this stuff clean it up just use the lid off a cotton bud thing ninety nine percent pure alcohol How we're going to tackle this, we've got to get all these ties off so we can get into the batteries. So I'm going to do that one. Try and remember how these went together. So he wouldn't leave that in his hand. I've got one there, I'll just twist it from that side. Got some cellar tape down here, and the same on the other side. Probably gonna have to come off. Uh, 
and it looks like they're tied at the bottom as well. So once we take this cellar tape off here, we should be all right to go. I do hate cellar tape because it melts sometimes, even at the lowest degree of temperatures. We'll take this off and replace it with new cell tape. Apologies. The camera again. Not the phone. sides up like this. Access to the inner box and take off all of these ties. And then get Buzz Lightyear out. Maybe you can have a fly out the window, eh? Maybe it's not. Time to the back of the car. Be cruel, eh? Right, so I'm going to pull these out. Lovely ties. Preferably without ripping the box. I'm going to have to thread them all back through, yeah? There the two back ones. I'll scoop that back through there. That way I'll remember it's on that one. I'm going to take this tie off his gun because I want to give him a proper wipe down to get rid of all this dust and dirt on it. So the one on there is off the gun. And we've got two sleeves. These ties are also sellotaped down. Got a nice pack in the back. So this is a genuine one. There's a lot of ripples from China for the um, the new Toy Story-ish one coming out, and the copies don't have the pack in with the rest of it, and they're actually the original colours as well. Uh, they didn't make them the new colours. Right, there's one more around his waist. Which goes on the back. Oh, that one's going to be a nightmare to get back on. I'll have to take this off because I have a feeling the batteries are on the back. To infinity and beyond, eh? Oh, he's even. This is going to be hard to thread back through. Two more on his arms. I can't really show you what I'm doing, but basically there's a cellar tape over the top of these two. So in case we will have to cut this cellar tape off. I'll peel it off later on. Who out there likes Buzz Lightyear? Personally, I prefer Woody. Right, box on the floor, out the way. Yeah, 
would have to get that set of tape up, otherwise it's going to rip the cardboard. Tell me what your favourite bit of, of uh, Toy Story is. My favourite bit is where they all start heading downstairs. All the army men are all hanging off each other. Yep. I am live, I've got four people watching us, or I had four oh. people watching us, I've got two people watching us now. Ah, sorry. For some reason my YouTube is picking up right on That's Chris. <sighs> this is gonna be really, really good fun to try and put back together, isn't it? Like a couple of elastic bands and instruction manual. Yes, well, it doesn't have the rings on this model by the looks of it. Well, if it does, they're not popping out. Yes, it does have rings. You have a jetpack. There it is. Okay. So I need to clean this up as well. Give it all a quick wipe down with some alcohol because it's got dust all over it. If you don't use alcohol, if you use polish or something, then you'll end up marking it. Uh, YouTube doesn't always tell people when they're going live. Still gotta take them apart. The dirty hands. Just like mine. Always dirty. Always covered in oil. Load of dust in all the little cracks like that. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to wipe the box down as well. I'll leave that for a minute though. That on the side there, there you go with that. It's pretty these elastic bands are all ties are all knacked. Doing between your legs. Yeah yeah, I know some of you are laughing. Some water damage there, that's obviously been damp. My unit is very, very cold and damp in the winter. So, I'm not surprised. Right. So, rid of any residues from the alcohol. The clean. Right. Let's face the wipe. See the difference in the size. Whoops, spilled alcohol. Yeah, excellent. <sighs> Got this alcohol. 
what's coming next. Turn the airflow up while I evaporate the alcohol. So this one doesn't really work. So I think it's about time we replace the batteries on him. See the difference in size between the original one and the special edition one. This one's got a few marks on them as well, so I don't know if we'll be able to get those off with some nice uh, acetone in the future. But he's got the wings. So. Right, let's see where the batteries are in this. Uh, well, there's a speaker under there, and there's a the circuit board, just through that gap there. Two screws there, so I'm assuming the batteries are going to be underneath those two screws. Let's have a quick look. Size screwdriver up. And I need my magnet. Where's my magnet? I seem to have lost my magnet. It was in here. Holding on the screws that it is. Stainless steel, yeah. Right. Covering over the entire camera, so this feels slack now. I've undone them. Yeah, there they are. There. So it's got LR44s in it. They all press the same button. I don't know what that reset button was there for. This is a tiny little hole there, which you can obviously stick a pin through to reset it. As far as I know, they all do the same ways. Right. How to come those batteries? Because yeah, you can see that one there. It's already started to get acid around it. And it's also started to swell slightly. So if I left that in there for much longer, the other one's over here somewhere. Oh, that was sticky. So if I left them in for much longer, they would end up corroding the entire contact away and would end up with nothing left. Get my multimeter reads out because I want to measure the voltage of them because there should be three volts each. 1.5 volts, three volts. Common. Stick it right around. Uh, that one's reading no volts. And I haven't got the lead all the way in. One point four two volts. One point two 
4.2 volts. And that one is, yeah, 1.42, so it should be 1.5 volt cells, these ones, yeah. So 4.5 volts, so then really, really it should be running at about 5 volts. So take the batteries out and leave those out, because I'm not putting fresh ones in. Let's screw it back together and let's see if we can get it all back in its case. Fun and interesting day today. I've been pad testing, I've been welding the car, I've fixed some backlights on a van, I have. Um, what else have I done? Oh, yes, fixed the front brakes on a car, a different car. Let's do that there. Finished hoovering the living room and sorting that out in the flat. So I also done some other interesting things that I shall not tell you about right now. They involved some uh, interesting driving and jumping over things and climbing up things, which I do a lot of. Right, we've got to try and get this back in that box. Made by Diggs Deep Pixar. And look, it's even got Andy written on the bottom. Cool. A lot of dirt on the feet. Right. I think we'll give the box a quick clean. And I'm going to have to use a fresh cotton bud to clean the glass. What do you think? A cup of tea or a drink of whiskey? A cup of tea. Right. Let's see if we can work out how this goes back together then. Looks to me like it's going to be a nightmare. On. Pretty bonded, yeah. My apologies, I'm getting off camera again. Threading it through the back. The same cables for the same bits. So I've got this one through. Try and keep the twist in about the same place as well. new cellar tape over the top of the old stuff. That is the arm. Obviously been opened now, but that's life. 
I'd rather have it open and still working in 10 years time than have a load of battery acid all over the place inside it. It could be worthless. There we go. Let's twist those ones together. It's probably going to be more than that before I am. Let's see, right, there's one foot, there's the other foot, and that is the arm, oh, I believe. Seems to have a lot of kink in it. Add that one through there. difficult because the holes are right behind the, um, the character so I hope I can get this as close to the original as possible side a little bit too tight. Let's see. There should be a little bit of cardboard on the back here. That's not good enough. Just pull them off. That might have to wait for another day. Too short. You know where that one's from, don't you? I put the wrong one on there. That one is from putting his hands together. That one's the one for this. See that cardboard anywhere. To be fair, the floor is a little bit messy with cardboard and stuff anyway. I've got uh, lots of projects on the go at the moment, including that with Mac I'm repairing and a couple of other bits and pieces. Yeah, that's better. Sold and jobs all over the place. There's the cardboard there. It's like I've lost another person. Half an hour of taking this thing apart. Right. So we'll get some fresh cellar tape on there once we've done this. in place. So went round the back and crossed over. And then went to 
through these two here. I'll have the bottom. So it's ten times more difficult to put things back together than it is to take them apart. Right. Standy stand. There must be some poor soul in China doing this when this first came out all day long. I feel sorry for them. So yeah, I bought this especially for someone who loved this character to bits um, from us as a family because this person had done some work for us. That person's no longer around and never will be, I don't think. So, right, uh, hands. Right, you had a hold of the gun with both hands, didn't you? So. Around there. Two twists. I'm not sure if this is to stop people stealing these or not. Just to stop them moving around in transit. It certainly does make it difficult to um, put together. Come on. That's about right. He's had his knees a bit more bent than that. See if we can get him back in his box. And then we'll have a quick look at the other one and see if we can get that one working. I'll stick some fresh cellar tape on it once I've uh, finished this. Make sure they go into there. Yep. Make sure all these are out. Cellar tapes, because otherwise, I will close it and I'm not going to get them off. Just stick it back together. Okay, it's just cellar tapes, done. cellar tape. All right. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Good night. Tip lifts up, see it's stuck again. 
can always go back in at a later date and replace that cellar tape. That one wasn't stuck anyway. Yeah, that's the one I want, Woody. Oops. I have a feeling that might happen to one of them. I pulled a bit too hard. Right, and the trick to sell a tape like this is again using the heat gun, moving the glue up, and then you stick it down. And that way it sticks back down the same way it did before. Got a little bit of cardboard under that one. warming the glue up slightly. Right, so we've got the bits on the bottom to do, yeah? If you've ever got a label on a box that you really need taken off, or like the back of a card or something, then just a hairdryer will do. Just warm the label up with a hairdryer, or put it in front of a gas fire, or something like that. Take them off, no problem at all. There you go, Buzz like yeah, Back together, no longer functions, but it's not going to get killed either. Right inside a proper cover later on, and we'll put it inside a bag. I can't remember how to release the wings. How do I release the wings again? Somebody tell me. There it is. Push that one. This is the one that's going to go flying out the window one day. Right, where is the screw for this one? It must be under these two covers. Just about the look of that. They're going to be very difficult to get out without damaging them. Nope, that's where the screws are. They're excellent. Let's see if we can do that and get them out without damaging them. I have actually got a proper squeegee, but that's it. A home home, not here, which will get this out in seconds. flat blade screwdriver I have handy. I'll try not to damage this too much. Looks like it's going to get damaged. As I said, sometimes you have to break stuff. definitely where the screws are and there's a battery pack in there so actually it isn't where the screws are no there's something else there right okay my mistake this looks like it might actually just be clipped on 
having a look. Really, really difficult to see in there because there's not a lot of space. A little button there to press. The little wings a bit further around. And there's, I don't know if you can see it under there, there's a couple of little grey sort of catchers. I'm not sure if they're clips or. Snap it if I can. Hmm. Okay. Got arms, we've got wings. The wings are held on the springs. It's really, really difficult to see whether or not that's a catch or. Having never taken one of these apart before. You know how it's clipped together. And it looks very, very awkwardly clipped together. Yeah. They're not catches. Right. Put the wings back in. So I'll put this on a different angle. Laser. I want to hear the proper noises from this. Did it? It does just pull off. Thank you, Chris. Look at that, two catches. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that. I've never done that before. Yeah, Chris is trying to whisper. Oh, look at that. One battery. Oh, what did I do with my batteries? Sorry about that. In my low battery mode. Continue. Yeah, I've lost somebody as well. Uh, more power. Should just pull off. I'm going to put two batteries in this. And that'll pop I Get it up and running. Yay. Hasn't worked all the time I've had it. Your 
I think it said it had 14 or something different. Sorry about that. 14 different noises, I believe. Way to show them up to press the laser button. Read that somewhere. Looks like that wing needs fixing as well. We'll sort that out. I'll give that a sand down the polish. Right. I'm going to go off now because it's nearly an hour long and I've got somebody who I want to chat to and somebody else I want to talk to. So. Bye for now, see you all later, and have a good night, and I can't find out how to cancel this, end. There it is.